I'd been ill for such a long time, about 15 years, and nobody knew what was wrong with me. And then eventually, um, when I got better and realised what the problem was, I decided to set up Thyroid UK so that other people wouldn't have to go through what I went through. Hello, Thyroid UK, can I help? We all sat down one day chatting, thinking, what can we do? There must be something wrong with the blood tests. We really need to look into this a bit more and perhaps do some research. So we put something on our website to say that we were thinking about this. And Jane Evans, who had ME at the time, offered to help us because that was her job before she became ill. And that's how it all started. Okay. Hi, Hattie. Thank Hi. you very much for saying you'll take part in our study. First of all, can I ask you to sign our consent form? Yeah. No study had ever been done to say that the blood test was best or that the urine test was best. So we thought we'd go right back to basics, recruit people by their symptoms and signs and then compare um, the two tests and see whether one of them was the best one. We needed to get funding for the research and so we advertised on the website and in our newsletter um, for people to donate and actually that's how the whole research project was paid for by donations from our members. We actually didn't need so much money for the study because a lot of it was done by patients who were willing to give their time. For instance, my time was free, Jane Evans's time is free, the doctors gave their time free. The study is, I feel, totally user controlled um, the, from the people in the office like myself. Even the two doctors that are helping us have hypothyroidism and take thyroid medication. All the all the patients that are helping, everything, all the, the way that we run it, it's just totally user controlled and we're really proud of that. The research is at the stage at the moment where we're still looking for people. We're actually decided now to go into department stores to try and get people um, with normal temperatures, just normal healthy people. So um, we've got a couple of interviews set up. Um, so we're hoping that we'll be finished by the end of the year. There's definitely been an impact from doing the research already, yeah, because people have found that they've got hypothyroidism and, and have been treated and started to get better. I mean, seeing it from actually working in the field and now actually being in the patient group, I think it's very important that the patients have a say because your needs are often different to what the professionals think your needs are. It's been quite exciting. I've learned a lot. I'm, I think it's going to help people. This is the first research project that Thyroid UK has been involved in, but I'm certain it's not going to be the last. <laughs>